Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn how to send the push notifications using the Firebase. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So basically, this is one for the new Firebase. Okay. So basically, we try to send the notifications to the Android and the iOS, right? So already the React Native build, I have already built up right so here you can see let's go and just check here we have the token already so let's copy this token this is react native android okay so just copy this this is my text testing one and if i go to the project settings here we go with the integrations cloud messaging here it's firebase cloud messaging api v1 not the legacy right so this is the first point okay if i go to send the messaging over here let's go and just add one message let's create your first com campaign firebase notification message at hello world something like this and uh, this is test notifications let's make it small this is test notification okay and we have to provide the token fcm token so this is that one so let's try to send this token and let's go to the anydesk also in the meanwhile let's compress this and let's try to send this okay test so here you can see that new fcm arrived let's move to this one okay and let's try to send it again with this and here you can see on the top of it there is a notification and this is what hello world this is a test notifications right so that means this token is working let's try to send via node.js okay so let's dive into the code of the node.js so currently this is the uh, this is react native basically which i'm going to teach you in the next video about this one but let's go to the um, node.js okay so here we go with the node.js section right so this is the full-fledged code make sure to have to install firebase admin okay so first one that you have to install the firebase admin then you have to download the service account.json file from your project okay so how to get this one project settings okay we have a service accounts let's go and just download from here it's just loading So create new pair, so it will give you the JSON file of that one, put into your Node.js project and give it the path over there. Okay, fine. Now initialize the Firebase admin SDK with the help of this. Now, now we are going to define a function to send the push notification. So this is, uh, let me change the variable. So this is not a correct variable. So message, we can see about the message sent. Okay, so make it like this, right? Okay, fine. So here we have the send notifications which require the registration token and the message, okay? So here, the message section over here, you can see that we have a message like the payload we are sending. So, so let's go to the top of it. Okay, so whatever message you want to send, you can just send it because send notification function is already called below. So token we have to find the registration token from the android or the ios which i'm taking up okay the notification title so hello technical resume we can mention over here right and um, this is test notifications this is a new test notification okay and this is the data so android priority would be high apns payload APS badge according to you you can set okay and then admin dot messaging dot send you have to call this function from the firebase admin then send message successfully sent with the response otherwise catch the error what exactly the error is don't need require this code let, let me remove this okay then registration token that we have to get it from the iOS or the Android which is coming from here so here you can see that if I go over here so this is my registration token, which I'm going to copy and paste it over here, right? Then 
I think this doesn't require because I'm not taking any payload from this one. Just registration token would be better. I'm not taking up the just make it send depend upon to you. If you want to send the payload, you can send it because I'm not getting any of the data from here. I'm making here my own data, the notification title and everything. OK, so it doesn't require if you're not going to send the messages over here and this payload also from here. OK, just remove this one. OK, we don't require it. OK, done. Let's try to run from the server. Let's make it clear. And let's make a node server over here and make like this and make any desk also with this. OK, so here we go with this one. OK, let's try to send. So previous one, let's try to send. And here you can see, hello, technical Rajni. This is a new test notification Right? if you go and just expand. OK, so you can see the notifications are sending properly in the Android and it's the same process will go with the iOS. So backend would only take care of this one. Nothing for the other things. Right. So this is how you can send the push notification with the new Firebase. OK, so any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Everybody just requesting for, for me the Android and the React Native. So the React Native will go on. But the Android, I need to think on it. OK, so thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.